Before installing the Garlock Closure IsoGuard Bearing Isolator, be sure to disconnect all system power and follow all standard safety procedures. Next, inspect the shaft and bore surfaces and remove any defects and foreign debris that can damage the O-ring on the bearing isolator. To help with installation, all Garlock bearing isolators come with lubricant. Apply the lubricant to all of the O-rings on the bearing isolator. Make sure the location mark is at the 12 o'clock position. This ensures that the internal drain ports are located at the 6 o'clock position. The location mark for non-metallic bearing isolators will be a red dot. Metallic bearing isolators will have a notch in the metal to mark the 12 o'clock location. Push the seal into the bore using hand pressure. If necessary, gently tap the seal into the bore using a soft face tool. Make sure the flange is square against the bore. When installing a flangeless design with a counter bore, insert the bearing isolator until it rests squarely against the bottom of the counter bore. For a through bore installation, insert the bearing isolator so it is flush with the face of the housing. Once installed, gently spin the shaft to make sure the rotor rotates freely and without excessive drag. Inspect the sealing area to make sure the seal was not damaged during installation. Confirm that the red dot is still at the 12 o'clock position and that the expulsion port on the flange is not obstructed. Finally, always make sure the oil level is below the drain port. For additional information on the Garlock Closure IsoGuard Bearing Isolator, visit garlock.com.